So this code and last code has a lot in common. You know, it has uh, serial data being issued across the keyboard, but um, this one has a lot more integers. So let's get started right away. Integer my data. So I had that already. That's going to be pretty common anytime that you use a serial. Now we have three integers, all constant. And we're going to write one LED blue. And that's going to be on pin 9. And now if you get lost a little bit, uh, you should watch the video that I put just before this one. Um, and you can see the number on the front of this video. Just make sure that you watch the one just before that number. That way I can show you how to set up the LED inside the breadboard. Then we got green, and that's on pin 10. And then we got red, and that's on pin 11. So I'm just copying and pasting those values over. Okay, then we have three integers, and these will need to change up and down, so they can't be constant. So, integer, blue, equals zero. And I don't know how much time I'm going to save by copying and pasting this, but a few words, a few letters. Green, red. Nice. Okay, let's get into the setup. Void setup. I just kind of do this right away, like that. I could use the bare minimum script, right? Serial period begin. And if you saw it, that beginning video, uh, you'll see that as I'm typing in values with the keyboard, they're not going insane. I wrote a, a script within a script or a nested if to slow down the data quite a bit. So anytime that you change the data, it will spit out real-time results in a report that's not too hard to read. And I like that. I, I don't like having to uh, try to trace down the information uh, just by guessing or averaging across like I have been doing. So we got three LEDs and they all need outputs. like that. Now if you get really lazy you can do this. Cool. So I'm going to get rid of these extra spaces. And then let's go into the loop. So void loop, just like that, and let's look at uh, first figuring out is there data coming across the serial line or not. Okay, we did that already. If serial period available. greater than zero. Incidentally, you know, there's not really much you can do as far as, let's say I wanted to use the keyboard alone without using the actual serial sender, <laughs> okay, or um, terminal. 
we couldn't do that because uh, when you strike a key in a keyboard, you know, it's going across whatever app it's at. But uh, to say just to go through an app of Windows, it's not going to do that. So it's always got to go through an app of some nature or a terminal of some nature. So don't go hunting that Norwall down. That Norwall doesn't exist. Now, as we get further into it, there is a new board called the Leonardo. And um, I suspect that it has that. I just got mine, and I haven't really had time to play with that yet, but it's coming. I have been able to, you know, program it to type words, which is pretty freaking fantastical, so you can use it as a, a keyboard and mouse on your computer. I would say learn this first, learn on a Uno before you jump into a Leonardo, in my humble opinion. All right, we have um, the ability to tap into the read. Okay, we have, is text available? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna issue it to uh, my data, and we're gonna take that information and throw it right into that integer. Cool. So, here it is. If my data is equal to r then we're going to say red equals red plus 10. now you could change this to five or whatever let's say you want to make finite increments of light and really get down to the science of the matter you could have one. So anytime you type in R, it just adds one more power to the pulse width modulation to that one channel of light. It's very cool. If you're doing finite experiments with light and LEDs. Analog right. LED red that's from above gets written red so right now LED red is pin 11 and it's getting 10 of a value written to it anytime I press R now the good stuff and you only have to type this once. After that, you can be sure that I will never type it again. I will copy paste it. So serial print line. Big huge underscore. You use dashes, whatever. I just want to separate the the values out. Okay, now let's say I wanted to print something and then print another thing on the same line, right? This is how you do that. This is will this will lead you down the path of ruin of making really good reports. Red. Again, a little bit of an underscore there. Just like that. And right after this semicolon right, or a colon, that's where I want the data to appear. Well, since that one's a print, the next one can be a print line. Whoops. Told you I hate typing. So the value of red goes there. Okay, so let's uh, 
look at some stuff that we can do to save us some typing. Control C, Control V, Control V. And then we're just going to change these values to green. Then green. And then blue, and then blue. Now, you're used to R. GB, right? So that's the easy way to do it. Now, any order will be fine because really, in the long term, we're looking for the number uh, to pop in here if we wanted a purple LED. So this is just a way of generating those numbers. Okay, there we go. And I think that's it. Let's close that bracket up and just look at that one first. Now we have, what, an opening bracket, another opening bracket, so we need one more closing bracket, right? Even amount of brackets. Oh, I knew I wasn't going to get out of that that easy. Okay, so what is this missing? This is missing one of these, I do believe. Oh yeah, right after the zero. There we go. Blue is lowercase. Got that one, got that one, got this one. Oh, we got one way up here too, so. There we go, that's how you fix your errors. Okay, so I'll upload that, and then we'll open up a terminal. Okay, we'll save this. Color mixer. So that uh, serial connection is not popping up. I'm going to just close the Arduino software, pop it back up, go to serial monitor. Ah, there we go. So sometimes that happens. Let's type in R. And there we go. Keeps getting brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. Okay, let's look at making it not so bright in the next video, and we'll we'll finish up the code. I'll show you how to uh, write the entire thing uh, very quickly and easy using copy and paste. So let's look at taking this number down, and then we'll look at writing the other values of green and blue. All right, meet you there.